In this video, we are going to build our success page and our arrow page as well as our gallery page. Uh, let me just unpin this one and come to my site manager. So I'm going to go ahead to create my success page as well as my um, arrow page. I'm going to duplicate the about s page since most of the items are going to be the same over there. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to change this to success page. And I'm going to move this to be a sub page under the contact S page. And I'm going to move this whole pages a little bit above there. That is above the master page we have in here. I'm going to expand this and come to my success page. What I need to do first is to change the name or the title of the page from about S since we copied it to success page. I'm just going to copy this and paste it in here. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Now I'm going to copy the test which is going to be used for the success page. So I'm going to get rid of this test and I'm going to paste the test in the same position. Uh, let me just copy and get to the rightful position for the test. I'm going to change the size of the layer from this layer to um, this size to 970 by 446 pixels. So that is it for the success page. What I need to do next is to duplicate this page and I'm going to use this for the error page. So I will rename this to error page. I'll double click on it, make sure I'm on that particular page. Right click, go to the page properties, set this to error page, copy this and set it for this as well and just change this text from success to error. So in doing so, you have to make sure you have the appropriate um, font styles applied to them. Now we'll come back to our contact S page and we are going to configure our form here to have the pages we just designed as our success and our, must, our, our error page. So I'm going to expand this. This is going to be my success page and I'm going to select this one as my error page. So I'm done. I'm going to come back to my master page and I'm going to duplicate the about S page, which I'm going to use for the gallery page. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to change this to gallery. Now I'll move this up. I'll double click on it to make sure I'm on that particular page. And I'm going to um, come to my page properties and I'm going to name this gallery. So I'm going to paste that here as well. I'm going to click on OK. Now what I'm supposed to use over here, um, let me first of all get rid of this um, test. I'm going to change the size of my layer here to that's the height is going to be 6x3 pixels. Now I'm going to come to my toolbox and I'm going to look for the uh, photo gallery. So I'm going to select this one and I'm going to draw over here. But before then, let me copy a test I'll be using here. So I'm going to paste the test here. Let me get the actual position for it. So the position is going to be 21 by 337 pixels. So let me just move this a little bit to the left hand side. Now I'm going to double click and configure this photo um, gallery object I have here. So after um, double clicking in it, first of all, I'm going to set the thumbnail size from responsive to compactable. And I'm using compactable because I want a situation whereby I would be able to resize um, the gallery object I have over here without affecting the entire, um, that is, if I make my page responsive, I don't want it to affect the other um, breakpoint. And now I'm going to change, the, I'm going to uncheck this one, maintain aspect ratio, and I'm rather going to check generate thumbnail images. So I want a situation whereby if I even have a larger images and I set it in my gallery object, even though because I'm going to uh, minimize the, the size of it to a certain position and um, to a certain particular size, I want to be able to um, have images generated for, that is the thumbnails for my gallery object. What I'm going to do next is to change the columns from three um, to four and I'm going to enable that is lazy loading. I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to select that is light box. That is how I want my gallery images to be opened. And I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and I'm going to select either Facebook or Facebook or fancy box. I'm going to select fancy box. And now I'm supposed to select the images I'll be using. So I have images of about 12 that I'll be using. So I'll click on add and I'm supposed to select those images I'll be using. So I'm going to browse through my images and I'm going to select all the images I'll be using. So I'll be using um, this track. I'll be using this, 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 this. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, plus what I selected after the seven. Uh, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to, um, I think I'll be, let me just go up a little bit. I'm going to use, uh, let me 
just go up and see if I'm going to I'm going to use this one. Um, I think I'm going to use uh, let me just see if I, I'm going to use this one as well. Let me go ahead and click on open and see how many images I have over there. Let me go ahead and click on OK. I need two more images to make my gallery um, a com uh, complete one. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to go to add and I'm going to I'm going to select this track here. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to look for. Let me see if I can identify the last track. Let me just select this track. It doesn't really matter. Let me click on open. Click on open. And I'm going to change the size of my gallery object from it, this one, um, what I have here to that is 623 by 374 pixels. Now, let me just go ahead and um, preview this page in the browser for you to see what actually happened. So, um, this is open in the browser. And when I tap or click on this, you realize it opened in a like box. So that's the behavior I set. And when I click on the next, it takes me to the next image I have there. Now let me come back here and um, let me just reduce the height of this a little bit to for about, um, I think, uh, let me just make it 550 pixels. That's okay. So that is it for the gallery um, page. So we are actually done with our pages. We are done with the index page. We have for our services page. The about us page, the frequently asked page, that is a contact us page, and now we have for the gallery page. So let's just um, preview this. Make sure everything is okay. So we have our gallery page. Everything seems to be okay. We have our contact tab, our map over here. We have our email address over here. We have our gallery images over here. We have our test. Everything seems to be okay over here. So we are done with the first part or the first phase of our project now we are going to look at how to make our website responsive 